fascinating facts about butterflies. Butterfly facts captivate kids all over the world. And it's no wonder butterflies are bright, beautiful and fascinating. Around 20,000 species call Earth home. And these insects are an important part of ecosystem globally. Every time a child sees one of these enchanting creatures flutter by, there's a chance they'll start a conversation about it that then in a lot of questions. Luckily, we got the butterfly facts to give them answers. What is the difference between a butterfly and a moth? The most obvious way to distinguish butterflies from moths is by position of their wings when at rest. Most butterflies hold their wings together and upright over their back while moths generally hold their horizontally or like a tent over their furry, stout bodies. In addition, butterflies have slender antennae that end up in a swollen tip. Most antennas are feathery and thread-like and lack the butterfly's swollen tips. How long do butterflies live? Here's a short version. Most adults on average live from 2 to 4 weeks. There are several factors, however, that come into play, such as the species, where it lives and when it became an adult. For example, a swallowtail butterfly generally lives from 6 to 14 days, while a monarch butterfly can live from 7 to 9 months. The longest living butterfly species in North America is believed to be the mooring cloak, with some living up to 11 months as adults. Where do butterflies sleep? Butterflies don't actually sleep, instead they rest or become quiescent at night or during the day when it's cloudy or cool. They rest with eyes open, typically hidden amid the foliage and hanging upside down from leaves or twigs and trees and shrubs. At night they drowse in evergreen and broad leaf trees and shrubs, fallen leaves, pieces of bark, or in a rock, crevice, or bush pile equipped with many nooks and crannies. Do butterflies hibernate in winter? Some butterflies go through a cycle of suspended development, a hibernation period known as diapause. For example, most swallowtails hibernate as crystallides, while the American painted ladies hibernate as adults. The blood of some butterfly species contains natural antifreeze agents, glycerol and sorbitol, which allow them to live in certain stages of their life cycle during sub-freezing temperatures. During this period, their development comes to a standstill and vital functions are kept at bare minimum. What do butterflies eat? Most adult butterflies prefer sipping nectar from any flower they can access. The type of flower a butterfly visits depending on the length of the butterfly's tube-like tongue, called a proboscis. A butterfly tongue functions much like a flexible straw, uncoiling when it's ready to sip sweet nectar from a flower. The tongue recoils back into position when not in use. Some species, such as red admirals and morning cloaks, rarely visit flowers. Instead, they seek out sap flower on trees, as well as pollen, fermenting fruit, bird droppings and dungs. While adult butterflies will feed from a wide variety of nectar flowers, caterpillars typically have very specialized diets. For instance, plants in the mallow family are favored by the West Coast lady and the common checker skipper caterpillars, while monarch caterpillars feed solely on milkweed. Most caterpillars dine in on a specific plant, usually on the leaves, though some species do eat seeds, seed pods or flowers. Why are butterfly wings so colorful? The rich patterns and vivid colors come from layers of thousands of tiny scales, most of which are produced by pigments. Each scale is composed of a single color. The scale protects the wings, and the overall color patterns protect the butterfly from predators. These color patterns act as camouflage of sorts, especially on the underside of the wing, enabling the butterfly to blend in with its environment. Why do butterflies like to play in mud puddles? Mud puddles make a contribution to butterfly reproduction. It's mostly adult male butterflies that like to gather around these wet spots, a behavior known as puddling. The male takes in salt and minerals from the wet soil, which strengthens their sperm and encourages breeding. The nutrients are then transferred to the female through the sperm, thereby improving the viability in their eggs. Much like the highly concentrated nutrients in dried fruits, as compared with fresh, the nutrients in mud puddles become even more concentrated as the water evaporates. Consequently, butterflies often continue visiting these puddling sites until they are nearly dry. 
There are almost 20,000 butterfly species. If you'd ever consider memorizing all the various species of butterflies, it may take longer than you were anticipating. An easier starting point will be those species regularly occurring in the lower 48 states of the US. Still, that number is right around 575, so we recommend in note cards or perhaps focusing on the butterflies you find in and around your yard this spring and summer. The most common butterfly in the US is the cabbage white, named for its mostly white marking. When heads of yellow and green like the vegetable, the cabbage white may not be the most colorful butterfly in your garden or yard, but it is the most common. The male cabbage white has one prominent black spot on each wing, while the female has two. Butterflies actually have four wings, not two. Speaking of wings, we may have intentionally left the most fascinating butterfly fact until last. Despite how they may appear in motion, or in drawings or paintings you may have seen, butterflies have four separate wings. The wings closest to its head are called the forewings, while those in the rear are called the hind wings. Thanks to the strong muscles in the butterfly's thorax, all four wings move up and down in a figure eight pattern during flight. For more videos, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel.